Hello everyone, welcome back to High Mathematics. In this video we're going to solve this really interesting equation. We have x to the fourth power plus x cubed plus x to the second plus x plus one equal to zero. How can we solve this interesting problem? I'm going to show you a really good method. How can we how can we solve it? Take a look. Let's divide both sides by a x square. So let's do this. We will have x square. We divide in both sides by x square. x square plus x. Right here we just have one plus one over x and plus 1 over x square. So right here we just divide in both sides by x square. So I write it as dividing by x square. So we divide in both sides by x square. So what we're going to do next? Of course equal to 0. Take a look. I see right now that I see, I see right here squares and right here squares and x and 1 over x. So the same. And so let's group these, let's group these elements. What we will have? x square plus 1 over x square. Of course, plus x plus 1 over x and plus 1 equal to 0. So I hope you, you understand this, you understand this step. So I just group these squares and these elements, these axes. So right here we have squares, right here we don't have squares. So we, we can easily write a substitution. This will be our t. But what about this? This is not t square because, for example, if this is t, so if x plus 1 over x equal to t, so if we raise this to the second power, so if we raise this, if we raise this x plus 1 over x to the second power equal to t square, so if we raise both sides to the power square, to the t square, we will have that x square, to the classic formula, x square plus 2 times x times 1 over x and plus 1 over x square equal to t square and as I hope you can see right now we can cancel these elements x and 1 over x and if you bring these two on the right hand side so near this t square we will have our answers that we need because we will have x square and 1 over x square this is all that we need right here all that we need right here so x square plus 1 over x square equal to t square minus minus 2. So I hope you understand this step. Reading both sides to the second power and finding our x square plus 1 over x that we need right here. So this parenthesis is equal to t square minus 2. t square minus 2. This parenthesis is equal to t plus t and plus 1 equal to 0. Or we can rewrite it. Minus 2 plus 1 will be minus 1. So we'll have t square plus t and of course minus 1 equal to equal to 0. So we hope you understand this step. Right now we have quadratic equation t square plus t minus 1. So we can easily solve it because we know that a equal to 1, b equal to 1 and c equal to minus 1. So we can easily find all our roots. Right here we'll have two roots because this is a quadratic equation so t equal to minus b minus 1 minus 1 plus minus b square minus 4ac. So 1 square minus 4 times 1 times minus 1 will be plus 4 and all over all over 2. And from here we find in our t, so t1 and t2 will be equal to minus 1 plus minus square root of 5 and dividing by 2. So this is our t, t first and t second. So let's let's solve the last equation because right here we have substitution so t is equal to x plus 1 over x so right here we have two equations so let's let's write it so at first for example we will have t first equal to equal to minus 1 minus square root of 5 over over 2 so let's use this use this, use this rule at first so this rule is this root is equal to x plus 1 over x so we will have x plus 1 over x equal to minus 1 minus square root of 5 and over 2. And we need to solve this to solve this equation. How can we solve this equation? Let's multiply both sides by 2x. So the, by 2x multiplying both sides by 2x. What we will have? We will have 2x in parentheses x plus 1 over x and equal to 2x times here we will have Right here 2 and 2 we can cancel so as a result we'll have x times minus 1 minus square root of 5. What we're going to do next take a look 
Let's multiply these parentheses by 2x. We will have 2x squared plus 1 of x times 2x. We'll have only 2, so plus 2 equal to x and in parentheses minus 1 minus square root of 5. And I hope you see right now that this is look like a quadratic equation because we have square, so we have 2x square at first. Right here, if you bring this x with this with this value, we will have minus, and I write this as minus 1 minus square root of 5 over x plus 2 equal to 0. And I hope you see right now that this is quadratic equation because we have x square, we have x, and we have a constant. But coefficient right here, uh, values near this x, is not like a classic one, because right here we have square root. So we need to work with this square root right here. So a equal to 2, b equal to minus this value, minus, minus 1, minus square root of 5, and c equal to, equal to 2. So we need to work with this, with these values. So what of x will be equal to? So x equal to, we write it, x equal to minus b, so we have only our parentheses, minus 1 minus square root of 5, so minus 1 minus square root of 5, this is our minus b. Next, plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac, so right here this minus will disappear and we will have minus 1 minus square root of 5 square, b square this is, and minus 4ac, minus 4 times 2 times 2, so minus 16, minus 16. And we divide in all of these by 2a, so all over 4. So not like a classic case, because right here we have square root of 5, and we need to work with this square root of 5. So, can we simplify this? Of course we can simplify this step by step. Right here we can split it into an identity, for example, because right here we have 4 square. Moreover, we can simplify this, uh, factoring, uh, taking this minus before this parenthesis. We can do this, of course, but this is it works for our telephone because this is not like a, a really easy way to solve it because we have square root we cannot like find it in a, in one minute we need to calculate it of course and we will have our x so let's let's write our final answer this is our t first with the minus sign but we will have as well t first t second with the plus sign so we will have as well as t second with the plus sign so minus one plus square root of five and all over Two. So as you can see, it will be completely the same, but we will have plus right here. So we will have our, our roots with this with this case. So let's write our final answer. So x first and second. So I write it x first and second. We will have this is our this is our answer. So minus one minus square root of five plus minus square root of minus one minus square root of five minus sixteen and all over, all over 4. So as you can see, a really long, a really long answer. And of course, x third and x s and fourth, because we have, this is with the negative sign. So this x1 and 4 with the negative sign right here. And this is our x3 and 4 with the plus sign. So we will have completely the same, but with the, with the plus sign. So in nominator, we will have minus 1, plus square root of 5 plus minus square root of minus 1 plus square root of 5 to the second power and minus 16 and all over all over 4 so this is our this is our roots this is our first and second and third and fourth root as you can see this is not like a easy root this is not like 2 3 4 that we that we like it, but right here we have a really complicated, complicated root. Of course, we can simplify this a little bit, but of course it will be a really long video, and moreover, I don't have enough space, so I hope you, you understand this, this solution. This is our t first, two roots right here, and third and set and fourth, using this plus, because right here we have plus minus. So this is with the minus sign, so this is t minus, and this is t plus two two roots and it's good because we have first power so we don't we will have no more than four roots so we'll have one two three four no complex all real all real roots so thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos